Hey guys, Kevin Rogers with On Point Pro Styles in Gainesville, Georgia. Um, today we're gonna talk a little bit about the basics of shrinking, um, what to do, what not to do, what to look out for, how the tint actually shrinks, um, go over some basic skills that uh, should help get you started uh, by at least having the knowledge of uh, what's going on with the film and what to look for uh, before you jump into try to start shrinking windows. It's going to be one of the most difficult tasks you're going to try to learn. Um, so I'm going to try to cover it in, in detail, starting with the basics. So first thing I'm going to do is spritz this down with some soapy water, clean it off with a rag. Uh, I'm going to lay some white tape. I'll discuss that in a minute. So I got the glass nice and dry. Next I'm gonna install uh, or put on some, it's like a white pinstripe tape, but it's a cut line tape. It's called Glass Aid, available at tintdepot.com. Um, something you can cut on and also makes it easy to see the edge of the window through darker tint, so. So we've got our white tape on. Um, I'm mainly going to be discussing a dry shrink method, uh, which is going to be the most preferred method uh, for shrinking. There's a wet shrinking. We'll go over that in future videos. But for this video, I basically want to cover the basics. So next thing I'm going to do is bounce dry our sheet, spritz it very lightly, and then you want to wet your bounce dryer sheet just enough, and then. Bring out any extra. The more that's on there, the longer it takes to dry. And then just like a rag, smear it from top to bottom and all the way to your sides. It's gonna, it's a dry shrink, but it acts as a tacking agent. All right, we've uh, given this enough time to dry. Uh, you want it to film up, um, obviously no wet spots. You don't want the tint sticking to it prematurely. Uh, the dryer sheet is actually to help it tack to the glass after you've shrunk it, so, uh, but it'll still free float. So we're going to put the film on the car. So we've got the tint cut to length um, and obviously we roll it from side to side. And the first thing I want to cover right now is which way sh film shrinks. Tint will only shrink from factory edge to factory edge. It will not shrink to the side. Um, tint actually as it's shrinking is actually pulling in from side to side as you're shrinking downward, pulling it in and creating a curve. When you get close to the edge over here, there's no back and forth pulling. It just pulls one way and it pinches the film. So always remember, never shrink this way or that way, which is the pull side. Only, and it doesn't matter what size roll, only factory edge to factory edge. So now that we've got the film centered, we're overlapping on both sides. We're going to trim this down to size and we'll tack it down. Okay, get your Ulfa knife, snap you off a fresh blade using the snapper. Stick it out a couple, three, and then find the top of the edge of the glass, and then here's where the cut line is. So you're gonna keep the blade as low to the glass as you can, allow yourself a little extra hangover, and put light pressure, very, very light pressure down on the blade. And trim out oversized where your cutting tape is. Again, use light pressure. If you tilt this blade up like this and put heavy pressure on it, you'll cut the glass. You can tear away as you're you know, making each pass. The key is leave extra to shrink to. Pull away. 
So now we're trimmed. Next thing we got to do is tack it down. So most windows, you're going to tack in the middle. So split your top to bottom about halfway. Start in the middle of the glass. Raise your film up very lightly. Pull towards you. Apply pressure. Make sure that's a good tack line. You get to your sides. You want to push to the top on the side, top to the bottom. That's locking down your sides so you don't shrink this way. Has to shrink up and down. Or don't be confused. Factory edge to factory edge. There will be cases you might turn the film on some windows and that means you're shrinking a different direction. So just keep in mind factory edge to factory edge. So these are all called fingers, tunnels, all the extra bunched up film that needs to be shrunk out in order to mold it to the glass. So you want it to look just like that. Center line, sides, up and down fingers. Grab your heat gun, make sure it's hot, highest setting, uh, preferred hard card. I use the MacTac hard card. Um, also, this is uh, Tint Depot Superior Charcoal, 15%. Um, um, I pretty much always use the Superior Charcoal. It shrinks very well and looks fantastic. So we're about to see how well it shrinks. So first thing we want to do is you're looking for the peaks the peaks of the fingers or the tunnels. So the tunnels are like a V, they come up to a point, they come up to a point, they come up to a point. So what you're gonna shrink is the top of the peak. Start off slow when you're shrinking, don't go too fast. You go too fast, you're gonna miss spots, you'll end up with puckers or bubbles on the inside. You need to shrink all of this out to the bottom. But keep concentrated on the peaks. I like to shrink evenly, although it's not completely necessary, but I like to shrink here, come across here, come across here, and about to the middle, all the way to the down, and do it in four quadrants. So I'm gonna concentrate on this side, then I'm gonna come up here and do this corner, I'll go to that side, do the bottom corner, come up to this side, do the top corner. So let's start off. So I'm, I'm moving my finger in a long position like this to organize my peaks. So I create a peak, turn on my heat gun, and you're looking for a wiggle like a wrinkle, but don't go too far. When you see a little bit of a wrinkle, use your card and push it out. You'll get faster the more you do it. So don't worry about speed. There's the wrinkle. That means it's shrunk. I'm seeing lines going this way. Once you see these lines, you've got to push them down to create your peaks again. Move over. There's those lines. Push them out. Here's a line coming this way and a peak here. So I'm going to shrink here. I'm using the, my distance to create hotter or cooler air. So when it, when, it, when it plateaus across like this, push your hard card through it or your finger through it to create peaks. Concentrate on the peaks. Remember, keeping your sides pushed down. So I'm going to come back over here because it's kind of coming up this way. I'm going to create me a peak. I'm going to shrink on it. Create me a peak. Shrink on it. Create me a peak. Remember, your, your heat gun's hot, so watch your fingers. Go slow. Keep your fingers running down. Now at this point, don't go too far. When you're starting out, push all that mess down. Keep it organized. Push it to the side. And then bump your card. So what you're doing with your hard card is you're, you can bump the top of these. Don't put heavy pressure on it. You'll crease it but you can bump the top of these to create peaks too. And that's how you start to get a little bit faster. You're, you shrink, shrink, bump, shrink, shrink, bump, shrink, shrink, bump, shrink, shrink, bump. But right now, concentrate. This is the hardest thing to learn for most tinners. Concentrate on seeing those sideways lines and stopping, pull the heat away, push them down. Same thing, I use, this makes it a little easier when I first started out using my fingers like this and then shrinking a little. See how far away I am? Pushing those lines down. Let's come over here, even it up. See, this is a bunch right here, so I'm gonna break that in two, shrink a little there, push that down. Now I'm further down over here, so I'm just gonna continue back over here. Another thing I'm doing is it wants to bunch up in this corner. So I'm pushing that film over, creating a little bit more of a pocket here, but I'm breaking it. I'm keeping my thumb pushed against the side, 
and breaking the finger so that I have less on this corner and it doesn't want to completely bunch up in this corner, allowing me to keep this edge flat. So I'm going to split this one, little shrink, push it down. Little shrink, push it down. Little shrink. Now I'm just going to go at regular speed and finish this corner up. So to recap on that, the major things to remember is organize your peaks. Make sure that you're shrinking the peaks and the peaks only. When you're, when you're learning to shrink, rewind that, rewind that, rewind that, keep watching it, put it in slow-mo, keep watching it, because it's really watching the film and learning to read the film and what the film's doing. The film's literally telling you what to do next. You just need to learn what to watch for. So again, factory edge to factory edge is the only way that you can shrink film. Um, shrinking to the side is gonna damage the film. It will pinch the film almost immediately and then at least that portion is ruined and nine times out of 10, it moves quick in. So you've ruined a good portion of film. So if it's on a back window and you shrink to the side, it's pretty much gonna ruin it very quickly. Um, hard to recover from that. So uh, we're gonna pull back and I'm gonna finish this window. Um, and you can kind of see some of the techniques. Here on the top, it's a little bit more bunched. So what I like to do is pull just a little bit to pull, again, all I'm doing is pulling peaks and then I heat a little bit, I lay it and I squeegee it out. So I'm going to show you that, not going to get into too much detail, we'll put out more videos that's going to detail it a little bit more, but I wanted to cover the main basics you really need to focus on and practice on that's going to get you to be able to quickly shrink a back glass. So anyways, uh, enjoy the rest of the video uh, and I'll recap at the end. All right guys, so that's uh, window tinting basics, rear window uh, shrinking video. Uh, again, wanted to put something out that, you know, covered a little bit more detail, explaining the film. Um, number one, I keep saying, uh, think of factory edge, factory edge. Um, end of the roll, end of the roll. That's the way the film's gonna shrink. It's the only way the film's gonna shrink. Don't get it too hot, watch it, shrink slow bump little bits at a time, shrink half inch at a time, an inch at a time, make sure you push those down so you can watch where you're going, keep your fingers going up and down, keep your points at the top, shrink the points. And um, you won't get it right away, but knowing that kind of knowledge uh, and really focusing on it, you should be shrinking a full back glass in one piece in no time. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, Tint Depot has all the tools you need, the film you need. Uh, my go-to is the Superior Charcoal, but they have lots of other good films ranging from your economy um, budget style film up to your premium uh, nano ceramic, ceramic extreme. So check them out, tintebo.com. Uh, mention me and check out, and um, we'll see you soon. Thank you.